Today, we're baking up a delicious batch of sugar and spice gingerbread sticks. First, I need to prepare two large baking sheets and four long sheets of parchment. I'll get the batter started by mixing together the dry ingredients. Stir together flour, brown sugar, cinnamon, ginger, salt, cloves, allspice, and for a little kick, some cayenne pepper. Use the back of the spoon to mash up any dry sugar lumps. For my wet ingredients, I'm whisking together some unsalted butter that has been melted and cooled, molasses, and some brewed cooled coffee. I want to get this well blended. Immediately stir this mixture into the dry ingredients. Stir until it's incorporated. I'll use my hands to knead the dough for about 30 seconds. I want to make it smoother and more malleable so it's easy to roll out. Once my dough is ready, I'll divide it in half. Grab two of those sheets of parchment and roll out each portion of the dough between two of the sheets. I want to get each ball of dough rolled out to about a 6 by 12 inch rectangle. If it's feeling a little uneven, I can cut and patch to make it a little more uniform, but don't worry about making it perfect. Now that my dough is rolled out, I can peel off the top sheets of my parchment and set those aside. I've got some coarse, clear, and green sugar that I'm going to sprinkle over the top of the dough. You could use any coarse sugar, or if you want a really sparkling look, you could use a little edible glitter. I'll grab those pieces of parchment I set aside and lay them back over my sugared dough. Pat and press down all over to embed the sugar and remove the top sheets of parchment. Time to cut the dough into sticks. Use a pizza cutter or large knife and working from a longer side, cut each sheet of dough into strips about a quarter inch wide. Don't worry if they're not all exactly the same and leave the uneven edges. I'll take care of those in a little bit. Using the pizza cutter or knife, cut away and discard the uneven, overbaked edges of the dough. After that's done and before my dough cools, I'll retrace the cuts between the sticks. At this point, I'm going to reduce the oven to 250 degrees. When the dough is cool enough to handle, I'll use my hands to gently separate the sticks. Return the sticks to the baking sheet, placing any underdone ones around the perimeter of the pan. Pop them back in the oven for 10 minutes. When they're finished baking, let them cool on the parchment on a wire rack. A new spin on gingerbread. Fun to make, but even more fun to eat. <laughs>